I got into an accident. Ta-da! <laughs>
right into the flow of traffic with me, or not really a flow of traffic, just basically turning to get in the direction from I did. She clearly didn't see me, and uh, she basically, rather than turning right and going into the first lane, or the second lane, I should say, to, to you know, the, the lane closest to her making a right, uh, she took it upon herself to cut across that lane and make a turn into the lane that I'm in, or I should say, directly into me. Uh, my reaction time was almost non-existent. Um, I swerved a little bit, which maybe saved a little bit of damage. Uh, not much. Uh, she barely braked at all. I don't think she saw me until I was right up on her. And um, I didn't see her. I didn't see her on the side uh, parked over there. Now, I will say um, this was the end of a long, this was the end of about a 150-mile ride. Um, I was tired. Um, if I was fresh and just started riding, could I have seen her? Could I have avoided us? Would I have not missed her on the side part of there waiting to lurch out at me? I'll never know. But I, my instincts tell me no, that she was lower than the truck was there. I was in the lane that I was supposed to be, and she essentially waited until I was in view to go and hit me. So the car connected it on my right side and um, my leg took the brunt of that. <clears throat> Again, broke my heel, broke my ankle, and uh, various other bones in there. I went off the bike uh, in the air, and in the center uh, island, there were short little palm trees, uh, shrubs and palm trees. I don't know what kind of palm trees they are, but the kind that are, that are pretty thick in branches and, and trunk, but are only about four or five feet tall. And I basically landed in one of those trees, upside down, suspended, with my head about four or five inches from the ground. So I never actually kissed the tarmac or the ground or the dirt in the island. Uh, the tree essentially caught me, which is why the damage to my um, helmet and the damage to my jacket are almost... I mean, the damage to my jacket, like I said, over there, is basically nothing. I don't think there's a single scratch on it. Maybe a scratch, but almost nothing. And the only thing that was damaged on my helmet is the visor, and I think that was just scraping through the branches uh, as I landed in the tree. So I am guessing the damage to my leg uh, was done upon the impact with the car. Oh, oh, also, let me back up. After that, the bike was behind me, rolled up, and fell on top of me. So I was pinned upside down in this palm tree with the bike on top of me. Um, <laughs> six or seven people came over. I'm screaming at the top of the lungs to get, uh, I knew instant, I did not lose consciousness through the whole thing. I was not knocked, like I said, no head injury. Um, everybody was saying, don't touch me because my back uh, might be messed up or my neck might be messed up. Uh, of course, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs to pull the bike off of me because I can't move and the bike's on top of me. And there's people arguing whether they should pull it off of me or not. Eventually, somebody did. I rolled off and peeled my helmet off. People were trying to get me to keep the helmet on because, again, which is the right thing to do because they were worried about neck injury. Um, and uh, <clears throat> anyway, I pulled it off anyway. Probably shouldn't have. I was in shock uh, for sure. Uh, but I, I ripped it off my head anyway. I was lucky. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. Uh, but the good news is, is that there was no head or neck injury. Um, and then I'm guessing my shoulder injury, the scapula break, was probably upon impact with the tree as I came into it. Uh, again, I'm not exactly sure how it happened. I don't even have the police report yet, but those are my, uh, that's my guess of what uh, what went down. So... There you have it. Um, my recovery time, as I said, is expected to be about six weeks. Um, as I was laying there on the ground uh, before the paramedics got there in pain, the first thought through my head was, I'm never going to ride a motorcycle again. This chapter of my life is over. Uh, it's not worth the risk, and I'm done. Um, it was extremely violent. It happened very fast. It could have been a lot worse. And I realized all these things as I was in the ambulance driving away. Uh, the pain in my heel and in my leg was excruciating uh, until they gave me something. So as I was going through that, my, my gut reaction was, I'm done with uh, riding a bike for the rest of my life. 
as time has passed, uh, as of three or four days have gone by, the pain has subsided. My surgery was a success. Um, you know, I'm expected to make full recovery. They did CT scans on my back, my chest, my head. No damage to any of, you know, no spinal damage, no neck, no head injury. Um, so I got lucky. Uh, as time has passed and as pain, as, as the pain has subsided, um, I've changed my tune. Uh, I will get back on the motorcycle. Uh, it's not going to be for a little while. I will get back to it. Uh, I'm not going to let this stop me from doing something I love. Um, it's part of the risk that, that we take as motorcyclists. Um, I think I was riding um, to the best of my ability, minimizing um, everything that I could that could have gone wrong. Um, I also had my backpack on and my saddlebags, so I was pretty heavy too. If I would have been fresher and more nimble without the backpack on, could I have swerved? Could I have done something? Could I have seen her earlier? I'll never know. A word of the wise, if you are fatigued, if you do feel tired, stop. Um, not going to be on the bike for probably a couple of months, which means not going to be many vlogs for a couple of months. I'll try to months. I'll try to come up with a couple of ideas um, of things I can do off the bike. In the meantime, maybe I'll have a gear uh, vlog. If you guys have any ideas, please do email them to me or say them in the com comments below. Oh, also, uh, I'll address this now. Of course, when something really exciting happens, um, I don't have the camera on. <laughs> I, I did not have the camera mounted. It was not even on my helmet at the time, so um, it was not caught on film, unfortunately. Uh, and finally, um, also, the uh, the bike is in impounds, um, so I don't have it with me, and I don't have pictures of it yet either. Um, I will say this, uh, from what I've seen, the bike is uh, less damaged than me. Uh, I took the brunt of the impact rather than the bike. Uh, it did fall over, the left side's a bit scuffed up, but at this point I don't think it's totaled. Uh, I think it's probably repairable, but I really don't know. I don't know the extent of the damage. I haven't, I haven't seen it since uh, the accident. So uh, stay tuned. Maybe I'll post, uh, post pictures of that once I have them. Thanks. Bye.